good evening. The small Tulare County community of Strathmore erupted in gunfire less than four hours ago, leaving three law enforcement officers wounded and the suspect shot to death. We just had a light explode. Witnesses say it was like a battle zone, bullets flying everywhere. Not just, not just lights, by the way. Strangely, the whole thing started when Tulare County deputies and a deputy marshal tried to serve a warrant. Denise Dador arrived on the scene moments after the shootout began. She joins us live from our Varsalia Bureau. Denise, how are the officers tonight? One deputy is undergoing surgery at a Porterville hospital. The other two have been treated and released. They had superficial injuries. Authorities shot and killed gunmen. He's a gunman. He's believed to be 55-year-old Ronald Moran. This was the scene three hours ago. incident started when deputies tried to serve traffic warrants on the suspected gunman. He opened fire, injuring one of them seriously. Witnesses say the gunman started shooting without warning. That bullet behind him, and we watched two fall. I threw it reverse. We backed all the way back to the house and called, a, called it in. Authorities ordered a SWAT team to go in and bring out the injured officers. Rescuers airlifted one of the victims to a nearby hospital. off access to the house but in the distance we could hear the crackle of gunfire officials say the gunman had a long criminal record all the neighbors were evacuated the standoff lasted nearly two hours we have some updated information here deputy joe teller he was hit in the stomach he's undergoing surgery at sierra view hospital he's in stable condition the other two deputy other two deputies brian Tenhat. he was treated and re treated and released at sierra view hospital he had cuts to the ear the face and Deputy Wayne White, he's in stable condition. He was treated at Cahuilla Delta Hospital with shoulder and foot wounds. John and Janet. Okay, Denise, Mr. Moraine sounded, for lack of a better word, like a very bad dude. We uh, had heard some reports from some of the neighbors that he at times had been firing his gun off in the past at uh, transformers and telephone poles. Anything you can tell us to that effect? Neighbors tell me that he's been, he's been doing this kind of thing for the last 10 years. They say in the middle of the night, he often fired shots in his yard, often fired at passing people. Like I said, the deputy said, deputies say he has a long criminal record. Um, he was a mechanic. No one really liked him in his neighborhood. Reporting live from the Visalia Bureau, Denise, I'm Denise Dador, John and Janet, back to you. Okay, thank you, thank Denise, you Denise Dador, reporting live from our Visalia Bureau.